What's up lovelies? My name is RJ. If you're new to my channel, hey, hello, welcome. If you've been here before, then you've probably been wondering where the heck am I? Because this is probably the first video I've uploaded in like three months. So between summer break, vacation, my new job, and my camera breaking, well, I haven't uploaded shit. And I do want to apologize for that. Um, hopefully this is the kickoff of me getting back into some sort of routine. I'm pretty much not going to make any grand promises like suddenly I'm going to upload three videos a week. If we're lucky, we'll get one um, a week. <laughs> if not, it's like one a month. We'll see. Um, I'm super active on Instagram. It's a little just it's just a little easier um, for me to do that. So if you're not following me there, make sure to check it out. It's XOXO Rajel, just like it is here on YouTube. And I do post there pretty much like six times a week. Um, so I thought since we haven't done any videos, what better way to kick it off is to do a summer favorites. Uh, I miss June, July, August. So I figured I would just round up all the things that I have been loving this summer and share them with you. As always, my videos are super long. If you're not familiar, I'm just giving you a warning now. Grab a snack, grab a drink, get comfy, because this is probably going to be 20 minutes plus. So the first thing that I'm talking about today is my ghost pillow. I have been complaining about just not sleeping very well. We just recently bought new mattresses. Um, I just wasn't I wasn't sleeping very well and even after the new mattresses I still wasn't comfortable and my friend was like you know what about your pillows have you changed those out and I'm like mm, now does that matter like I'm still on the same probably like six dollar pillows from Walmart that I've always had and she was like yeah it makes a big difference and I think I had mentioned something about it online and so ghost pillow actually um, or ghost bed really um, reached out to me and this is the ghost pillow by ghost bed um, they told me that they had this really great memory foam pillow that they wanted me to try out and see what I thought and so I was like sure why not and oh my god you guys it makes such a difference I mean I'm sure there's plenty of you guys that are like yeah we knew that already well I didn't um I used to wake up like two or three times in the middle of the night um I would wake up just in the morning just not feeling rested and his made I mean literally after like two nights of sleep I noticed a difference. Um, I just wasn't waking up in the middle of the night like I was before. I felt more rested in the morning. Um, I didn't have some of the aches and pains I had been having. And what's really great about Ghost Pillow is that not only do they give you a five year warranty, but they actually give you 101 days to try it out. So for me, it took like two and I knew it was awesome. But if you're not 100% sure and you want to sleep on it for a week, two weeks, three weeks, uh, you get 101 nights. Um, it's super awesome because it has this like cooling feature so you know sometimes like in the middle of the night you start getting like that sweat in like the back of your neck or the side of your face maybe it's just me um, but this pillow totally like sucks that away so that you stay cool it really keeps like helps almost like regulate your your body temperature while you're sleeping and it's super let me show you guys so it's like super soft you see how it just like slowly comes back out and when I lay down on it at night like it's like that part just confer, um, conforms and like wraps around like the back of my neck and just really lets me sleep good um, so I am so happy that I tried this out I actually have purchased a couple more um, to give well, one for my husband and one for my daughter and I definitely thought that they needed something a little bit better to sleep on every night um, I am gonna let hmm, yeah <laughs> I'm gonna leave a link down below um, where you can click on it take a look um, it comes with free shipping um, it comes super fast I think I ordered this on Wednesday and it was to me on like a Friday um, and I've been using it, I don't know, for a while now because even before I posted about it on Instagram, I had had it um, and been trying it out. I wanted to really make sure that I loved it before I endorsed something. And oh my gosh, you guys, it is totally worth it. So yeah, if you guys have watched my favorites before, you know, I start off with something that's like non-makeup related, just a fun, different thing. Um, this isn't sponsored. I will say go sped did give me the pillow to try out at no charge um, but it's awesome I wouldn't tell you guys about it if I didn't think it was so definitely check out the link if you are in the market for a new pillow so again thank you ghost bed <laughs> all right so let's get into the nitty-gritty I have uh, everything in this basket is super heavy 
Um, if you've not seen one of my videos before, I always start with something non-beauty related, then we do hair, skin, and then makeup. Um, so we did the fun non-beauty related item, but good sleep is definitely going to help your skin. So let's get into the next stuff. So I'm going to start off with hair care stuff because we'll just work our way down, I guess. Um, I only really have three items because... Um, they're kind of the three main things I've been using. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been doing the, I think it's M, Amazalise. It's the Nutrie Amazalise. <laughs> I'm probably butchering the name. Um, at home keratin treatment. And I've done it twice now because it's supposed to last about 12 to 14 weeks. I did it in May and then I did it again at the end of August, beginning of September, just here recently. Um, when I do that, I pretty much only wash my hair like one time a week, um, just because you're not supposed to get it super wet to help it last longer. Plus, half the time I don't even leave my house, so there's really no need. But the three products that I have been using um, to really help my hair look awesome um, are these guys right here. So the first one I use in addition to the Keratin Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, it's the Nutri brand that I use, although I did just pick up one from Ulta that I am going to start using, um, and I'll tell you guys about that one day but this is the it naturals 12 in 1 amazing leave-in treatment this is actually my second bottle um, my other one is in the bathroom and it's almost empty I just picked this one up um, so I actually don't leave this in I rinse it out um, but the what I do is I shampoo my hair um, then I put this in let it sit for like three to five minutes then I actually put the keratin conditioner on and then rinse it all out together um, I don't know why I just that's what I do. Um, but I really like it. I feel like my hair has been just a stronger strength. <laughs> it's just been stronger um, than it was in the past. I see a lot less breakage and I really think that it has a lot to do with this. Uh, next item I've been using a ton of is this Mark. I guess it would help if I show you the bottle. Let me show you the bottle. Because y'all know I do not link anything down in the description, so you got to grab it from the video. <laughs> so next up is this Mark Anthony Strengthening Grow Long Anti-Breakage Oil. Um, this I actually got at Gen Beauty um, in March. When did I go to Gen Beauty? I think so, March when I was in LA. And I love this stuff. It does not take a lot. Um, it's... I don't want to say oily. It's just it goes a long way. So what I do is after I... Um, let's say it's a week that I've washed my hair. So after I wash my hair and blow it out and then go over it with a flat iron, um, what I do is just spray about three sprays of this on my hand, uh, rub my hands together, then I start combing it through kind of from the back going forward. And then usually I'll go over it one more time with a flat iron and it really just locks in that shine, um, that brightness. It makes my hair feel healthy. And I think this also, because it is strengthening, is helping my hair also be strong. So I think this is uh, a great combination of two things that are really working hard to strengthen my hair. And the last thing that I have been using on the regular is the Fat Boy Spray Putty. So um, I also met up with Fat Boy at Gen Beauty and they were kind enough to send me several of their products and then when they released this, they sent this as well. Um, I love this stuff. It's like hair putty hairspray, spray wax, all in one. So I love it because I can put a little in and zhuzh my hair up for a little bit of body. If I want to try to actually go into a bit of a mohawk style, um, then I can go down into the roots with this, spray it, not spray it, blow dry it, and then it gives me more volume there. But I really like it. Um, I don't know if there's anything that's else that's like this on the market, but uh, if you have not tried this, definitely check it out because I am digging it. So I know I'm talking fast, but I have a ton of stuff, so I'm just trying to get through it all. Uh, next up is skin. I only have like three things, because really what I wanted to talk about were my staples for the summer, um, the stuff that I um, pretty much was using every time I had to wash my face or fix my hair. And these are the three things skin-wise that have really been a go-to. Uh, the first is this right here. This is the Oil of Olay um, Daily Facial Cloths, 
and I heard about these a while back. I think um, I kept the, the packaging just so I could show you guys because once you take it off, it's just kind of plain. Um, but they sell them at Ulta. I think Walmart has them. They come in this little container that sits next to your bathroom sink perfectly. And it's just these little like cloths. And they have, let me unfold this one. This should be you. So I don't know if it's going to pick up or not, but they have like these little exfoliation um, sides. So one side has these little blue exfoliation beads or whatever, ridges. And then, and then the other side is just smooth. But you just run this under the faucet, get it a little wet, and then you go to town and wash your face. Um, I use this, usually I take my makeup off makeup off first with like a um, cleansing oil and then I use these so this is second step so I have like a four step process um, but these are awesome if you're not using them you should like I traveled this summer a few times and I just pulled a few of these out threw them in a baggie and then you have this instant face wash um, where you're not having to bring a ton of different cleansers and things like this um, after I use this I do still clean my face one more time so again we start off with the cleansing oil go to the oil of the lay wipes and then I have been using because I'm all about an exfoliator some people just like cleansers um, which I kind of feel like that is um, but I like to use an exfoliating face wash pretty much every time I wash my face and I got this from Neutrogena this is the Hydro Boost exfoliating cleanser and what I like about this especially in the summertime is this has like H2O pumped into it so it really, it's a lightweight gel um, cream cleanser, and it basically helps hydrate your skin. It has hydrolonic, hydrolonic acid, um, and according to Neutrogena, it's clinically proven to increase skin's hydration, which I actually believe. I feel like my skin has just felt a little plumper and had a little bit more of a natural glow to it that you don't see all the time in the summer because the sun is pounding down on you and it's drying your face out. And so I have really liked using this, especially like on <laughs> the days that I work out too. It just feels um, a bit more refreshing and I love the smell of it. Somebody else told me they didn't like it, but to me it smells like a combination of like fruit punch and like cotton candy maybe I don't know but I love it so yes so that and I'll usually use that with my Clarisonic and then the last thing that I use well I do some other stuff but I've been using this um, serum essence <laughs> to be honest with you it's a K beauty product um, I looked it up so I like I know what it's supposed to be doing um, but I just don't know if it's categorized as a serum or an essence or if those are really the same thing um, but ampule but basically this is the EGF yeah special ampule that's what it is and it's the witch piggy hell pour <laughs> which I think is like the craziest name but it comes in this bottle. You can find it on Amazon. It's got um, the bloop, 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 little dropper. Um, so I just drop, 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 and then just massage it into my face. It's basically supposed to help with texture. Um, if you get redness, which I don't get a lot of, um, but I do feel like I have a bit of um, uneven skin. It's kind of supposed to help out with that. Um, it's basically just supposed to be a miracle in a jar. Um, but I really like it. I've been using it this probably about two months now and I try to use it every night um, after the routine. Sometimes I don't always wash my face because I didn't always wear makeup and I just like take a shower and go to bed. Um, but uh, when I do use this the next morning I always feel like my skin just feels a little bit better. So that's a pretty cool item. So that's it with the hair. Oh my gosh. And the skin and all that's left is beauty. Um, I don't have something in like every category because there wasn't necessarily something in every category that was like a new for the summer type thing. Um, but everything that I'm showing here is not necessarily a brand new product. It's just something I wasn't using prior to the summer and I used it most of the summer. I also tried to put most of it on my face. <laughs> so let's just start off with foundations. There's basically two that I've been using um, all summer. And even though it's summertime and people are like, oh, this is where you use lightweight stuff, I've still been all about like full coverage items and still doing like full foundations, not like BB creams and things like that. Um, but as you guys probably know, uh, ColourPop released a foundation and I ordered it like the day it came out. Um, I used the thing online to like figure out what color I use my I think Fenty to color match because that one is like perfect and I wound up getting 
145 medium dark and it's like a perfect match for my skin I don't really feel like I change much you know people are like this is my summer shade this is my winter shade I was outside for like two weeks this whole summer the rest of the time I've pretty much been in the house I mean you know like I've walked to a store or like into the mall but like really out like we went to the beach in June and I was in San Diego in July but other than that yeah I think I'm about the same skin tone um year round so I don't think that this will be something that I won't be able to use come like January um but yeah so I'm really liking that um another foundation that I tried and have been using a lot is the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation and I'm usually not a big fan of stick foundations. Oh, today I'm wearing the ColourPop. I don't have the stick one on. Um, the last few that I had tried had just not been really good matches and it left my skin feeling kind of oily and greasy. But I really like this one. Um, right now they don't have a ton of shades and I did see they're coming out with a liquid foundation. So I'm hoping that they come out with more shades in both because I'm in the shade F13 and I feel like I looked, you know how you just want to like compare and F12 was like six shades lighter. So they need to fill in the gaps just a bit. Um, yeah, so then next up, I don't know, there's no real order. I'm just going to grab things out. Um, Staying with ColourPop, uh, the No Filter um, Pressed Powder um, has been my ride or die this summer. I generally have this in my purse. I'm actually just going to order another one. So I have one to keep in my purse at all times and then one to have in uh, the beauty room um, for when I'm doing my makeup because I'm always like, oh, where is it? But this is... I don't know how to describe it because I didn't use a lot of pressed powders beforehand. I had some powder foundation, or not, yeah, some pressed powder foundations, but this is more of a sheer powder that you can use to, um, you know, if you, well, when you originally do your makeup, I use it to obviously set, set my makeup, but then I carry it with me because during the day, if I get a little oily, um, I can use it to touch up quite easily and it just really works to keep me looking fresh uh, all day long. So I have medium dark and I think that's a good match for me. I mean, they're all kind of translucent, so I don't think it matters really which color you get. And the other powder that and I've had this for a while, but this summer I really used it a lot. I mean, I have like seven loose powders, um, but the Peach Perfect smells amazing, so I always like to use it. Um, it works really good to set under my eyes when like to do baking and then just to set my full face and it just, I'm going to open it and it's probably going to powder everywhere, but smells so good. It's just got that awesome peach smell um, that I really like. So that has been another favorite. Um, oh, let's see. So this isn't, this could have been with skincare, but it's not really skincare. So we'll talk about it now. Um, it's the Grande Lash, Lash Enhancing Serum. So this is Another thing that I picked up at Gen Beauty, um, I actually purchased this, and I didn't start using it until like May, I think, because I kind of forgot about it. Um, so May, June, July, August. I've been using it about four months. It's only supposed to be a three-month supply in here, so I will tell you that I don't remember to use it every single night. There's nights when I've like completely washed my face and gotten in bed, and I'm like, ah, oh, lash serum, I forgot about you. Um, but I don't get up and put it back on. Uh, however, you just use it, um, you open the container, you just put it along your um, eyelid, kind of like where you would do a strip of black eyeliner, um, or any color eyeliner. And then you just go to sleep. Uh, at first, I don't think it was doing anything. Like, I took pictures of my lashes, and if I can find it, I will insert it up here. Uh, and that was when I first started, so whenever it was, April, May. I think I used it, like, once and then didn't use it for, like, a month and then started using it again. Um, but anyway, but then, like, we'll say, like, four weeks ago, I went to put on mascara, and I'm like, oh, my God, my lashes actually have some length to it. I mean, they're still not, like, swooping into my eyebrows or anything like that, um, but I do want to keep using it. I bought a Sephora Play, like, one of the deluxe ones, and it had another six-week supply. I probably have maybe, like, a week left in this one. I can tell when I take it out. It's, like, almost empty, so I'm going to start using that one, too, um, but... I, you know, I really think it works. I just don't think it kicks in. I guess it's different for everyone. For me, it didn't kick in immediately. Um, in the paperwork, it says some people see results in like six weeks, but I think it took me like two months. But again, I did not use it every single night because I was bad about that. And while we're talking about eyelashes, I will talk about the mascaras that I have been loving. So I have 
I guess a low end and a high end. Um, surprisingly, this Neutrogena Healthy Volume, and I'm sure you can't read the packaging because of the lighting. Um, but I've had this, like I used it like one time and then like set it to the side and I've been trying to go through because I have like 5 million mascaras. So I've been trying to go through and try them out, wear them for like two or three days to see if I like them. And if I don't just toss them because I have way too many. Um, this one is fantastic. Uh, it really gives me volume. It helps my lashes kind of like stick straight out and it helps give them a bit of a curl. Um, and it definitely just makes them look really good. So I like that one quite a bit. And then the other one is a more of a duo. I have the Tarte Man Eater and the, what is this? Is it Doucet? Doucet Punk Volume Mascara. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to show you the bristles on this one. Let's go back to this one. Okay, so there's the bristles on this one. And usually that's what I like, these thick, fluffy bristles, um, which is why I didn't think I was going to like the Tarte Man Eater because it is like those short, kind of stubby plastic ones that usually I do not like at all. Um, but I like to start off with this one um, and just do, you know, coat my lashes really good and it gives them like the length, like I feel like it really makes them look super long and then this Punk Volume Mascara which has that more traditional brush bristles that I like, I go back over it and then that really like fluffs them up and makes them look good. So if I have a little longer I do the two step process. And if I'm in a hurry, I just throw on the Neutrogena. Um, but both of those I really like. Um, bronzers. So I picked up the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer because everybody and their mama oh, so good, was talking about this bad baby. And it smells amazing. It's just like summer in a container. Um, I really like this quite a bit. It has a couple of shades. This one is deep. Um, if you're probably three shades darker than me, it's probably not going to be dark enough for you, um, which is the only bad thing about uh, Physicians Formula is that I feel like their shade ranges could be um, a little bit better. I'm kind of one of those people that I'm fortunate that I fall kind of like right in the middle, so almost every brand has something for me. Um, sometimes the shades are a little off, like more orange or red or something like that, but usually still my skin tone is included, which makes me lucky I guess but I feel bad when I look at something and I'm like okay I can't recommend this to my friend because it's not gonna work for her whether it's you know not dark enough for her or not light enough for another friend so I really want to see larger spectrums from everybody but I do like this quite a bit it doesn't have um, one thing about this bronzer is there's not really any sparkle to it most of the time I just use it for contour so we're doing this here here um, across there and then my jawline uh, this isn't the one I'm wearing today I'm going to show you that one in just a minute but I really like this one because the color it's creamy it goes on really easy it blends really out blends out really well you don't get those like harsh whew, whew, um, that some bronzers can give you um, but the one I'm wearing today uh, is this lovely right here. Um, I picked this up, I think I've had this like midsummer because I've been using that one the longest, but I picked this one up when it was on sale at Sephora, I think. It was like a weekly wow. Um, Park Avenue Princess has been my favorite bronzer from Tarte for some time. I think when I did like my yearly favorites, it was like listed and I talked about it a couple months. Um, this one has basically four bronzers and two highlights I guess I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be to be completely honest they're light shades I don't really use them but they're there uh the one I use the most is I never looked at these names before I guess that's angel it's sad that I cannot read um but it's this shade right here I use that to contour and then I use this to bronze my whole face because that's crown and it has a little bit of a sparkly sheen to it so I don't like to just put that you know for contour but if I'm just like doing the whole face to warm it up and get like summery and look cute um you know dusted along my clavicle I like to use that one um 
Carrot, is that what that's called? I've never looked at these names before. It's so funny, I just use it. Um, Carrot has a little bit of a sheen too. I like that one as well. And Princess Cut I don't use as much. I think it's a bit light for me. So if you're like slightly lighter, that's probably the one to go with. I actually wish instead of the two lower lighter shades, they had one deeper shade in here. Because I guess these are, I don't know what those are. They can't be highlights, they're too powdery, and who's contouring with like white shades, so. I don't know, I never really thought about it until just now talking to you guys. Stuff is falling. Um, but yes, <laughs> those are the ones that I have been wearing. Um, only a couple more things. Blush. So I just have one blush palette because this has pretty much been my ride or die all summer. It is the Morphe 8W Warm Masters Blush Palette. I picked this up like as soon as it came out because I love blush and I like to have variety. Um, every time I have traveled, I have taken this with me uh, because it's perfect. It has an abundance of range because there's like mattes, there's sh like shimmery blushes so you can start off with a matte during the day and if you're going out and you want to be a little more sassy you can dust one of the shimmers over. I love this this provocative like orangey shade. I've only worn it a couple times but I really like the way it looks. Today I just have on Unapologetic and Babe which are probably the two I use ooh, the very most which are these two right here. So Unapologetic is a matte and then Babe is a shimmer. So I put that down and then I just dust a little bit of the shimmer on top. But I think this was like, I don't know, $16 or something. So it's awesome. I don't know if they have it at Ulta. I know they have like the, end of, not the individual, but the duos, but I don't know if they have those whole sets. If they do, go check it out because it's awesome. All right, so eyeshadows. I'm gonna start off with the one that I'm not wearing today. And that is the Too Faced Clover palette. I picked this up in Ulta, um, like in March. Uh, but this is like the perfect summer palette. This yellow is my best friend. We like to hang out all the time. But all the colors in here, the pigmentation is awesome. They all blend beautifully. Like I've never had a problem with any color that I've dipped into here um, looking great on my eyes. So thank you Too Faced. And then the palette that I'm wearing today is the... Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Um, the awesome folks at Urban Decay did send this one over to me, but um, I would have bought it if they hadn't because it is just awesome. The great thing about this palette is there's literally something in here for any style of person. If you want to do a neutral look, if you want to add pops of color, if you want to do matte, shimmer, it's all in here. It also has this huge mirror, which is awesome. And then the whole container is super durable so it makes it really good to travel with. I took it with me um, to San Diego and actually didn't bring my big um, Ricky Loves Ricky mirror because I was afraid it was not going to uh, fit into my suitcase and so I just brought this and stacked a couple things up, put it on top and the mirror worked amazingly um, to get ready. Last three things and these are my lip products. So even though I did full coverage foundation full eye looks, my lips, I was just like not feeling any type of bright color this summer. Um, so I really went with like basic shades or tones or glosses. Um, I bought this Fenty lip gloss in that little set. It was this, um, you know, the mini size and the highlighter. And I was using the highlighter, but I had never used the gloss. Then I pulled it out and put it on one day. And then I wore it the entire summer, pretty much. Um, I love this stuff. I'm wearing it right now. It's, how to describe it? It's like your lips, but better. It just gives you a little bit of gloss. So you feel like you're finished. You know, you've, you've done your look. You completed it with a lip, but it's not overpowering. It's also not super sticky. Um, I didn't have any problem with it. It's got really good stay power, too. Like, I would put it on, which I'm going to do right now. And then I would, like, eat, drink, whatever. It's like still there. Like, who ever heard of that? Um, it smells, it smells so good. Just like candy. I can't even describe it. But, so this was my favorite. The next runner up was actually this CoverGirl Melting Pot in the shade 100. It's just like a brown color. 
um, but this was when I wanted just a little bit more color on my lips than just the gloss um, but still again not trying to do any like pinks or reds this summer um, I went with this it goes on super easy it's got one of those like little puffy things which I usually don't like um, but this one was really good I mean they look gross you know like after the first time you use it which I don't like um, but the applicator itself works really well and so I did like that <laughs> And then the last thing is something that I've had for a long time, but you know how it is when we get makeup. We get something, we use it like that week, that two weeks, and then we get something new and it gets thrown into the bottom of the drawer and we don't use it again. Um, so I pulled out my Papa Don't Peach Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss from Too Faced. This is it right here. And this is just when I wanted, I don't even want to say a pop of color because it's a kind of, you know, it's just got the regular doe foot applicator, but it's like a, I mean, it's a peach. It just, it's kind of like your lips, you know, it's just like your natural lip color um, with just a little bit more to it. And I really like this a lot. I guess I could have swatched that other one for you. I didn't swatch the gloss because it's kind of like a gloss. There's not really a lot to see, but let's do this one too real quick. That way you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So there's those two right there. So of course there is the CoverGirl. You can see that's a nice shade. And then the Too Faced right there. So those have both just been what I wore this summer. And that's it. Um, I still think this video is really long looking at the timer. Hopefully I can cut it down some. <sighs> I'm going to take a little breath. Um, take a drink. Just so you know, I don't like Chick-fil-A, but I've started drinking tea as a way to not drink soda. I don't know if it's any better for me or not. Um, so I got some tea from Chick-fil-A. Sweet tea, because I'm in the South. Uh, <laughs> I'm goofy today. So I think that's it. Um, that is everything. I, I don't know what I was going to say. Something about links in the description box, but I hardly ever do that. Uh, if you rewind, pause, you can see all the things that I talked about today. Um, I think that's it. So once again, as always, I love making these videos. I hope you guys enjoy watching them. And until next time, which could be in a week, two weeks, maybe next month. I make no promises. <laughs> Bye, guys.